Hello there, car apologists. I'm Joe, and today I'm joined by Ed Betteridge. So thank you for joining me. No uh, in a previous video, I looked at the Gray's Accelerate cart rods. I showed you all the specs and what to expect from them. And at the very end of the video, I said I was going to be linking up with Ed and doing a casting tutorial. So that's why we're here. A lot of you know, and uh, I know very well myself, I'm not a very good distance caster. So I'm going to cast out, uh, do a benchmark, see what my range is, and then Ed's going to show me some tips on how he casts, and hopefully we're going to boost my numbers. So. Let's get a benchmark cast out and see what we can achieve. In the past, I've looked back at some of the videos where I've done where I've been casting and done some freeze frames and my posture is completely off. There's one picture in where my spine's bent, my arms cocked out and the technique, what I thought was going to be quite good, when slowed down looks absolutely awful. So that's how I'm going to be casting out now. We'll have a look at how it goes, but I know it's going to be a lot of work to change my technique and see what we can improve on. Okay, so that's clipped up. I'm gonna wind in, wrap it out and see what the distance was. So I've just cast out, I'm gonna wrap it out and then we'll work out what that equates to in yards and see what we can improve it to. Just, that's 31 and a half wraps. Nice. That's my furthest already. There <laughs> well, there's testament to the rods. That is unscripted, that's my furthest cast yet. So I'm gonna hand over to Ed who's going to talk you through the setup we're using and uh, we'll improve that from 31 and a half wraps. So those wraps converted into yards is about 126 yards, which already is my furthest ever cast. So which is a testament to the equipment that we're using. So I'm going to hand over to Ed, like I said, talk you through the setup and then we'll start talking techniques on how to improve that and get those numbers up. When you're distance casting, the kit you're using is vitally important. I prefer 13 foot rods because that extra foot uh, of, of length in the tip creates a much faster tip speed. Therefore, you should be able to propel the lead a lot further. The actual rod is a new Accelerate from Grays. Now, it's quite a light blank because of the nanotech that's involved in it, and it's got titanium rings. So again, the lighter the rod, the quicker you can wield it through the air, and the faster it will propel the, rod, the, uh, the lead. Sorry. The reel is a Penafinity 8000. It's basically a big bucket spool reel with a nice smooth line lay. The line I'm using, the shock leader is a 50 pound Whiplash, and the actual line itself is a 20 pound Whiplash Pro 8. Again, it's a very, very fine diameter line, all designed to just peel off the reel and not slow it down at all with the friction of it uh, passing through the eyes and coming off the reel. So uh, now I've talked you through the kit, let's give it a whack. Right, that's 45 wraps. So that's about 180 yards, so pretty happy with that. Let's see what you can do, Joe. Let's talk about technique first. Um, I always like the leader knot to be down below the rest of the leader. So at the minute it's at the top of the spool there. So I'm gonna let a little bit of line out and get it more towards the bottom of the spool. It's just so when I cast those initial few yards aren't flicking over the top of the leader knot. That's fine, that's down towards the bottom of the spool now. What I then do is wet everything. And what this does, it stops wind knots and it lubricates all the eyes to make everything run a lot smoother without any friction. Then the next step, I like the drop to be somewhere around the spigot, probably just short of the spigot and the second eye. And then also, let's put a finger stall on. When using braid and really going for it with a four and a half ounce lead, it's best to get the best protection possible. The next tip is just to lock that spool up as tight as it will go because you know the amount of pressure we're putting through it, if that slips and I didn't throw the finger stall on that, I'd cut into my finger. And we drop it behind. So we just want it just above the deck so we can generate as much speed as possible. Straighten the arms. I like to lean back slightly and then take a stride with my left foot. And as I'm striding, I put all the weight into it and really give it a whack. So let's demonstrate that. <laughs> Keep the rod up at about 45 degrees, because that's where the line's coming from. Smash into the clip at 180. Right, so as you know, my first cast was just shy of 32 wraps, it's about 125 yards. Our aim is to try and get me to 150, I feel like that's quite an achievable target. So by following all the steps that Ed just gave us, I'm going to do exactly the same and see if we can at least get close, have a few practice casts, see if we can hit that 150.
Okay, so I've just done my first cast and we're not going to clip it up. I believe I can hit a bit further just by putting a bit more body weight into it. And so we're going to keep on trying to refine my technique until we're happy I'm casting it the best I can. Okay, so now onto the third cast. Ed still believes I can put a bit more of my body into it. That was a bit of an improvement on the first one, but we'll try again. Okay, so I've done a couple of test casts. Well, I call them test casts because they've not been as good as I'd like. But we're going to clip it up at 150 yards, and that way, if I hit the clip, I know I've reached the target. So I've just clipped the reel up at 37 and a half wraps, which is about 150 yards. So now we know if I hit the clip, I'm hitting 150. So just gonna go through all the steps again, wet the line, make sure the lead's in the right place, the knot is at the bottom of the reel, and we'll go again. Well, that hit the clip. <laughs> right, so that hit the clip on the first car, so we'll take that off. And uh, go again and see what we see what distance I can get. So I've had a few casts now, and I'm just going to go for a, probably one final one and see what we can clip it out as. Right, so that didn't feel like my best cast, but we've clipped it up. I know that I've hit the 150 target we set myself, so. We'll wrap this out and see where that one went anyway. 37 and a half. 150. Exactly as well. <laughs> there you go, I've improved my casting by quite a bit. When I first came, I, my previous best cast was about 110 yards on previous setups. Straight away with this setup with a four ounce lead and this, these rods and reels, I hit 125 as my benchmark uh, cast. And then with a few tips and tricks from Ed's tutorial, I was already hitting 150. I hit the clip quite hard at 150 yards. So with a bit of practice, I'm sure I could even increase it from that. So thank you very much. Uh, but obviously this is just a lead setup, so. Yeah, well, you, 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 I'm guessing you'd lose about 10, 15 yards if you know, once you put a rig on it, it depends what rig it is, it depends what size bait it is. But you know, just, just, to, just the step up that you've done today, yeah. you know, it's, it's, your casting's improved by quite a lot, you know, 25 yeah. yards. And the technique will stay the same. Well, this is well, it, yeah. yeah. Technique stays the same no matter what rig you've got, no matter what rod you've got. You know, it's just that basic technique of putting your body weight into the cast will get you extra yards no matter where you mm -hmm. Definitely. So I hope some of you have taken some tips from this as well. It's certainly helped me, and I'm going to implement it into my fishing and work on it myself, and I'm sure I can improve and keep on pushing those numbers to even greater distances. So thank you very much. We're about to go get the rods out, and part three will be us fishing with these rods. So hopefully we'll bag some of the fish that are in the lake behind us. Cheers for watching. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Just watching and we'll see you again soon.